Hey, what's up? I was actually thinking, what if we had a near to be fighting game? And I thought, you know what, let's just play around with this character. Let's use the new Riggy 5 3.5 controls and let's see what we come up with. And the results are pretty stunning. Hello, if you're new to the channel, my name is Pierre Schiller. I am a 3D animator and BFX compositor with over 20 years of experience. And I thought, you know what, with the new bone system with Riggy 5 in Blender 3.5, why don't we read two B's saves? And let's see what we come up with. And I found out new things that I want to show you in the following video. First of all, welcome to the channel. And if you're new, please subscribe so I can keep creating this kind of content. The channel can keep on growing. It is important because I really do love creating anime style characters and shaders. So do you know when you need to rig your character with a side mouth for the camera? You know, those extreme poses that the camera sometimes needs the character to have? Well, you can do that with the new Blender 3.5 uh, facial bones. And in this case, I'm quickly demonstrating to you that you even have um, controls over the uh, facial angles that you can have. Look at all those controllers that surround the entire face area, the jaw. And in my case, I'm going to try to pose this. This, by the way, has not been adjusted for weights. So this is just out of the box, like uh, parent and automatic weights. So if you have been watching this show and you were probably thinking somebody in the Blender community may have already have created some sort of stylized 2D shader for 2B. Well, that's me. Thank you very much. And I want to show you what you can do with these new controllers for your animations because this is important. One of the main difference in reference with the previous controllers is the jawbone. The jawbone, as you can see right here, uh, matters where you locate the pivot point. And also I'm going to be applying this subdivision modifier with custom normals and check that out you should also check out the video description for all of the URL links all right let's start with the classical setup for the rigid 5 armature okay this armature is called the meta rig in blender so right now you can see I'm aligning every other bone and this is the regular human rig okay so when you do that you get you inherit a face setup for all of the bones and it is your job to, you know, put this entire rig inside your character. In the Armature Property panel, you can come to the Rigify section and then you will see this warning. This meta rig uses the old face rig. Therefore, you need to click Upgrade the face rig. And let's see what is the difference. So when you click here, it asks you if you are okay with this. And of course you are, and all of these new bones have appeared. They will help you keep consistent muscular variations animating smoothly with Rigify's generated controls. The new nose controllers help you achieve more realistic movements with sneers, squints, or mouth exaggerations. I parented the mesh to the armature and I have to say that even the eye controllers were able to adapt and move the character's face better than I expected. The previous Rigify jaw positioning was somewhere around this area. This is not the case anymore. With the new Rigify 3.5 jawbone, you need to calculate the middle region of the face for the correct location of the jawbone. Like in this example. Alright, let's go back to 2B and we are already finished. But before you press Generate Rig, let's go to the overview for some other things. For example, you can change the display of the bones as it sticks, as I have them right here. But I want to switch back to Octahedral because we're going to talk about the roll and aligned bones. When you generate your controls for the hands, it is important that the bones are correctly rolled inside the mesh. And for that, you're going to come here into item and then go into edit mode. And from there, you're going to get this roll parameter that you can manipulate so that it will perfectly align with your hand direction and all of the fingers as well. Now you can also press this little X, which will mirror every change you will make from the left side to the right side as well. So you will do this operation first before anything else so that you can manipulate it with no problem on both sides at the same time. To align the rest of the finger bones in the chain, you need to select them in order. And then as the last selection, the bone you want to align all other bones to. Press Shift N and then choose Recalculate Roll Other Active Bone. Let's do this again. I'm going to first roll this to align it to the hand first first of all, and then I'm going to select all of this, and the last selection, that's going to be my shift N to direct the rest of the rolls. So if you activated mirror pose, then on the other side of the hand, on the right side, you will also get the same results. 
Now let's talk about the bone layer. This is something very important. My skirt bones are going to be really messy uh, with the rest of the entire hierarchy. Rigify can generate buttons for you. For that you need to come to the Rigify layers. Rigify layer buttons and we're going to select this one, the number 19, which is going to be the layer bones. And from 19 to 27 you have all of these slots available. We type number 13 because the last number, number 14, it's reserved for the UI root bone. We type 6 since this is the group number for the extra bones. So now we scroll up and we're going to talk about the layer number 19 which was the one that we chose and you can see in the comments on the Python comments that that layer corresponds to number 19. So after selecting all of the skirt bones we're going to press M and then move exactly to that layer number 19 all of these selected bones and you can see now a little dot appearing there which represents that now the layer has been populated with bone. Alright so I guess this is it. So don't forget that you can put any other extra bones like skirt bones or hairs or any other weapons or things starting on bone layer number 19. Click generate rig and we will see that the rig is not exactly on the same size than our model. This is because we have not applied a scale when we were modifying the meta rig. So it is important that you select your meta rig armature and then control A to apply the scale. And that way when you click generate rig, your rig is going to be generated with the correct size as you did with the edits of your hierarchy in the meta rig bones. Now I switch back to edit mode and the first thing I want to do is to scale this bone closer to the body of the mesh so that way we can reduce the size of the root bone okay this what I just modified is the root bone so your root bone is smaller nice the next thing we want to do is to parent the bones with the upper and lower teeth plus the tongue so this is a technique I like to use often with this which is parenting directly to the bone so the way I do this is by coming into the mesh first of all this is our upper teeth mesh and now I'm going to select the um, armature, in this case the rig. But I want this bone to be the last thing selected. I go back to object mode, select my upper teeth. And now shift click the armature, control P, and then parent to bone. Since my bone was the last thing active, it now parents it directly to the bone. Let's do this one more time. Since I am in pose mode, I'm going to be selecting this bone, the lower teeth bone, as the last thing selected in the rig, okay? And now I'm going to go back to object mode. From there, I'm going to click on this lower teeth mesh, shift click my rig, okay? I'll select it, and then control P, and then select parent it to bone. Since in my rig, the lower controller for the lower teeth was selected it will be assignated automatically this tongue is interesting because whenever I control P against the rig it automatic it automatically does the weights for me specifically for the tongue don't ask me how this thing does this but it really does a great job it rigs just the tongue it doesn't affect any other part of the meshes it just rigs the tongue. I don't know, maybe it's a shooting ray that it's very short in length and then it finds the tongue mesh. But however the case, it rigs automatically with automatic weights when you control P or parent it to the rig. The next thing I want to uh, show you is the uh, eyes because we want to rig the eyes. The bone that controls the eyes is called def eye.r. Okay, so I'm going to copy that name from the rig. I'm going to come back into object mode, select my eyes, which are separated meshes. I make sure that they have the armature modifier, of course. And now we want to add a new vertex group. Okay, in edit mode, I'm going to select the pupil, the right pupil. I'm going to select it all with Control L. And then I'm going to write a vertex group, which is the name of the bone that we previously copied. And from there, I assign it 100% to the weight of that vertex. That's all we need. And now if I go back to post mode in my rig, I should be able to move the eyes and manipulate it. Because this, this is not an automatic process, so you need to do this manually. Okay? Just mind that. I'm going to select the next um, vertex group, which of course is going to be the left side. So I'm going to change this letter R for the letter L. 
Go back to edit mode, select the mesh, control L to expand selection. And now I'm going to add this control group and assign it 100% uh, weight. It's just one. <laughs> I just mentioned 100% because that's the way I have been working for 20 plus years, but it's just one weight of one. Anyhow, we have this ready and now we can move the eyes individually or uh, with this eye control. And you also have additional properties on the end panel to follow the head or not follow the head. And that's it. Here we have the final 2B model. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I have tried to cut out all of the extra parts, but in reality, I hope that this uh, gives you the incentive to work in this kind of rigs with Rigify 3.5 and the new Blender controls that it has. Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to get more news and updates on this channel doing anime stuff with Blender. Now let me ask you something, have you tried Blender? Try Blender, Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.